led me to become a helicopter maintenance technician was in high school. I was I determined that I wasn't the typical student that wanted to sit behind a desk or trained to sit behind a desk. I wanted to be hands-on. Well, I always liked electronics, even as a teenager. So I would go in and fix my stereo if something happened, and my car radio, I would take it out, fix it. TVs, I always was messing around with electronics. I ended up in the industry uh, being very interested in tools, working with my hands, uh, maintenance, uh, looking for something different than the typical tractor maintenance, a greasy truck, rusty truck maintenance. It's kind of a family thing. My, my brother actually got into avionics and then another one got into the maintenance side of it. And I came from a farm background, so maintenance was kind of always something that we, we tinkered with and we built stuff and it was just kind of a cool industry to get into. Back when I was in high school, you know, I always thought I was going to be a mechanic, uh, just like working on cars and trucks and stuff like that and uh, kind of looked into what would be the best way to go about that and I saw the military as being a way to get uh, a lot of training and education out of it so I joined the military. Of course you still need your licenses to work on uh, aircraft civilian wise but you get to use that experience to get your FAA license. You really want to get involved with it. You don't want to really be bothered with a, a long period of schooling. It gets you right into it. Even the schooling itself is very, very uh, interactive and hands-on. By going and getting your AMP, it's a much shorter path uh, rather than going to a four-year college and if it's something you know you really want to do. Technology plays a very large part in my day-to-day -day role. These aircraft are nothing more than large computers that all systems talk to each other. We do everything from data loading to troubleshooting online. All Everything is electronic, manuals, charts, software updates. We're on the computers constantly uh, getting the newest revision of tech pubs and bulletins and ADs and ASBs, uh, use technology everywhere. Even with the latest avionics and the cockpit suites and uh, everything is digital. The coolest part is the pride in my job. Uh, after I fix it, they go out and they do EMS work, so they save the patient, fly them from hospital to hospital. So My favorite part about the job is it's all very hands-on and mechanical. Uh, but at the end of the day, when you're done doing what you're doing, you either get to go see it run up, uh, or actually like today, you get to go flying. I would more or less skip the automotive industry for the simple fact that I feel like this is so much more farther advanced, uh, just much more exciting. The coolest part about my job is every day is different. You never know what you're going to get, what you're going to walk into, and every, but every day is interesting and different. The aviation industry actually has a huge amount of opportunity. It's so diverse in I have friends that are in oil and gas in the Gulf of Mexico. I have friends that are supporting the military in a civilian role in Afghanistan and overseas. I've personally lived in the Caribbean and supported a personal billionaire who owns his own private island and lived down there with my family to take care of that helicopter. Uh, I've worked for a number of different places and really it's up to you and the amount of effort you want to put into it, but there's more than enough opportunities to go to probably some of the coolest places you'll ever be in your life and have it paid for by your company and not funded by yourself.